What is up everybody, this is Cyberpunk here and I just wanted to take a break from some of my daily stuff to play a nice game of Subnautica with you. So, let's start a new game, Survival. Oh, it's been a while since I played the original Subnautica. I may do a one of Below Zero, I'm currently playing Below Zero, which is a lot of fun, but this is the scary one to me. Oh, okay. Press anything to continue. Attention. do this. suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Oh, lovely. Let's do this. Scrap metal. Acid suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. For those of you who have never played Subnautica, the joke has already been made thousands of times about acid rules. Uh oh. No 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 New creature discovered. Oxygen. Whoops. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Oh, crap. Sulfur is an essential component of the root of human. We need to get sulfur to build a repair tool so we can repair the life pod. Uh, I still remember my quick draw in this game, knowing exactly what I need to get. Quickly. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Okay, now we need to go build. Okay, without those. Sorry, I got a message. I just had to check it. Okay, okay. We need a battery. We need a scanner. We need a blueprint acquired. We need a repair the tool that we need silicon rubber. Synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Okay, we need to get uh what's it called again? What's it called now? It's it's uh We need to get this kelp stuff. Creepvine kelp seed. I think that's it. And there's a cluster right there, but maybe we can get a closer bingo. Oh, I love the creepvine forests. It's always the prettiest to me. 
Oxygen. Yes, I know. Oh, we need to build an air tank. We find some cluster. Yep. Near blueprint acquired. Perfect. That was a special people. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. No problem, computer. Always do what your com what your computer overlords want. Or else. Okay, I'm gonna go back because I hate going into cave systems. It always makes me nervous. Especially when I don't have an air tank or a sea glide. Beautiful games I've ever played. How many do I have left? Yeah, I think I should make some more. That will come in handy later. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Uh, the, the fabricator guy. draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. I actually talked once to one of the devs, uh, and it was Abraxas actually. And yes, his Discord handle is Abraxas. This, which is which I always found funny because it just makes me think. It just makes me think. Uh, I actually talked to him. Really cool guy. I always and always just he was a cool guy. I, I know that. All right. Okay. Uh, we got the repair tool now. We need to repair the life pod. Life pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. something to eat. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Okay, I've never had that text before. Well, not text, uh, message. This is a lie. Mr. Sibyl is Rescue operation ready to spot to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Huh? All right, let's get to gathering resources and scanning objects. Now we've got seat. Now we've got fins, and then an, and an air tank. That's definitely gonna aid us a lot. New creature discovered. Oh, we got a beeper. I'm gonna remove that from my toss. From that bar that I have. before we run out of oxygen. And we, we need to get a high capacity O2 tank. 
I think we picked up silver already. And we need what else? Glass and four titanium. Okay, got it. When it comes to Subnautica, I'm almost a machine when it comes to getting these things and getting them done in here in this game. Wish I could be like that in all aspects of my life, but unfortunately I can't. It's just, I remember this game, and I kinda remember where everything is. Kinda. Well, for the general big things, I know where those are. I think we have silver in here. Oh no, we didn't pick up silver. Okay. We need glass. Okay. Oh no, it's night. It's never going to night. So dark. Okay, I guess we could scan till day. Come on, scan, scan. Well, that was a bad idea. At least we got some sulfur. Guess we can scan these. Acid shrooms. Day is gonna roll by soon. I say we set direction that way and see what we come across. I hate those guys. But like Jack Septica said, Subnautica it's a horror game. There's no beating around the bush. This is a horror game. I mean, a disguise, like he says, it disguises itself as a survival game. And, but <laughs> this is not a survival game, this is a horror game. Oh, uh, reef packs. Yes, that's what those are. Are those burnt components? Okay, okay. This is good, we're looking for this sort of stuff because there's normally important objects. Ah, oh, not that. Grav traps aren't that important. I don't think I've ever you actually properly used a grav trap at the this game. Maybe I will this time around. 30 seconds. Oh, oxygen. Oxygen. for a sea glide. New creature discovered. Oh, it's nice how it just stayed there. I'm gonna scan everything because at one point I'd like to sit down and actually read all this stuff. Because there's so much story to I mean the devs have gone through an amazing oh my gosh it's this section. Please tell me this is where I think it is. If it is this is good. Okay, um, do I have the schematics for a beacon? Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. If this is what I think it is, yes! This is the uh, little, little uh, geothermal vent. This is good because there's some precious metals down there that we need. 
but I can't see, so I'm gonna wait till day. But I'm gonna have to try and remember where this is. Um, where's it from my sea? From my oh, it's okay. I'm gonna have to try and remember where this is. Because this is a great because I love setting up shop right here. Right here in the spot. Because it gives me perfect access to all these creep excuse me, to all these creep vines. Yeah, I can grow them, but I always like having my base here. It's just an old preference. Okay, we're going to need table coral to build surfboards. Oh, it breaks into pieces. I don't remember breaking into pieces. I remember them breaking off as single chunks. Yay, day's coming! Okay, now let's go. Now that we have a bit of light, we need to go into these caves because there's always precious metals in here. Silver based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Be careful when you go into these cave systems because they will burn. Okay, now we can build a high capacity O2 tank. We need to get the schematics for a sea glide. But I want that high capacity O2 tank. Yeah, we've got all the components needed. We're also going to need to save the lead for later for when we go into the Aurora itself to go. To go I ah, won't spoil it for those of you who haven't seen it. But most likely all of you have seen some of this. Just I felt like playing it. Two glass. Boom. Uh, oh, two tank. Oh. Let's heal up. Eat. Drink. There we go. Doing all better already. Wait. Oh yeah, I took the thing off. oxygen we get now and boom it's good the fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure bodily fluids and internal organs thus rendering them safe for human consumption Okay, what do we need next? We've got lead, we're gonna need a lot of lead later. Uh, I think we're just gonna go look for components. It's for stuff to build. Oh, we got a message. Receiving pre recorded distress call, laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Okay. Signal location uploaded to PDA. They're in the shallows, so they should be. And it looks like they're up high, so we can definitely go see them. We need to get more schematics because I am not liking that we don't have anything. Careful of those stalkers. Wait. Sea glide damage. Crew reported their sea glide damage. <gasps> Ooh, that means we can get components for a sea glide. Oh, that's good. Wait, wait. 
Normally there's something in these crates. And it's just yes, seed light fragment. We need that. Oh, creep fine. Oh, 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 what's that? Sea glide fragment, bingo. And yeah, that's not right. good. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, a, a sea glide should not be broken. Uh, life pod should not be broken like that. New blueprint acquired. Okay, we've got the next few things. Let's go build a sea glide. What, comp what new technology should we have? Okay, we've got fiber mesh, we've got compass, we've got sea glide. What else? Nothing, okay. Oh, I love this game. The visuals are just beautiful. Especially the water. I mean, just look at that water. Oh, when you get high enough, you see it. Well, maybe I need to increase the texture details for the water. I don't know. I'll do it later. Oh, copper. Copper. We don't need titanium that bad. Copper is always useful. There will be plenty of titanium in this game. Trust me. We need a sea glide, yes. Lubricant battery, copper wire. We've got enough for a battery and copper wire. Ah, we can eat that. Battery, copper wire, lubricant. We're going to get that rebreather later as well because that is also going to be needed, but only after we fix the aurora. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Okay, do we have the tools we need for a constructor? We need a computer chip and a wiring kit and a battery. Computer chip, wiring kit, and battery. I'm thinking about that. For the computer chip, we needed uh, gold. The gold table coral. We needed gold table coral and titanium. No copper wire. And I'm. Oh, I just have enough. Okay, we're going to also need to go get copper wire. Dang it. I'm already out of resources. New blueprint acquired. Yeah, we're going to have to go get more copper. Alright, we have a new objective. The sea glide, we can now go even faster. Oh, you can turn the map on and off, I think, by using. Is it E? No. I need to put the map back on. Oh, it's right click. Put, the, put that uh, thing off and on. Salt. Creatures 
treasure discovered. What oh, cave? the next distress signal if it's one that we can reach. Oh wait, let's see if it drops a tooth. Because, it, because they drop the teeth. We need those. For... Ow! Okay, that was my fault. Totally my fault. Glass. I can't remember what it's called now. But hey, we're making good time. Hmm. Wonder what's next. Well, let's go check out that next. I think I'm gonna. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Ooh. Um. Not going there anytime soon. <laughs> Too deep. I'm only going there once we have a sea moth. Mm -hmm. Hey, oxygen. Ah, let's go in. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something useful. Okay, we're gonna have to be very quick and precise here. This should be a fire reactor fragment. Oh, okay, we can reach them. Bunch of fragments here. Oh, wait, is that a Seamoth fragment? Yeah, because we need to get a Seamoth as quick as scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Yeah, we need as many Seamoth fragments as we can get. Integrating new PDA data. I wasn't joking, I know what's in my cave system. A nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Okay. What else? Where can you see any more fragments? There's another fragment. I think this should give us all the fragments we need for a sea glide. That's awesome. This is the quickest I've ever gotten these fragments. Normally I just go around and just find them by myself. New blueprint acquired. Well, we got that already. What's this? Scan room fragment. Don't really use it, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna use it. And ooh, lace cutter. That is gonna be essential. Okay, now we need to find mobile vehicle bay fragments. Oh, ooh. Now this is a good find. This is a very, very good find. I. Okay, my knowledge of this map is definitely outdated. 
could not remember that this was here. There we go, more Seamoth fragments and more, more scanner room fragments. Hopefully we'll get the pieces for a mobile vehicle bay. So if we can get the mobile vehicle bay, we can build the Seamoth. The quicker we build a Seamoth, the quicker we can get moving into more landmarks. What's that? That glowing thing? Is that a... Oh, it's just part of this thing. I thought that was something important. Okay. Water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired. Bench. Is anything useful in this thing? New PDA data. Light, uh, not that useful. Acquired. You know, there was a cool trick you used to be able to do where you used to be able to take the batteries out of the floodlights. Uh, it would give you just like a ton of extra batteries. Battery charger. Okay, that's useful. Always a that's a useful fragment. Totally worth it then. But we need more fragments. We're making good time. All this before the aurora explodes. Where do you find the mobile vehicle bay fragments? Seek fluid intake. Vital signs Bingo. stabilizing. vehicle bay fragments. I think you can only find those in the... Oh, I hate those things. Oh. Oh. Wait, is it gone? I hope it's gone. Dang it, it's so close to that piece of tech that I need. Oh, dang it, I'm gonna have to cut, I'm gonna have to let that one go. I need the laser cutter fragments. Those are annoying to get. And I need them for later in the game. Nope. Oh no, 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 no. Not ready, not ready, not ready, not ready. I am not ready to go there. Oh, I wanna, because normally in these crevices you'll also find. What are they called again? Uh, gel sacks? Oh, no, not really. Oh my word, we just came all the way around. All the way back. Okay. Mobile vehicle Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Thank you, computer. Okay, we need mobile vehicle by fragments. Oh, scanner room fragment. I'll take it. I saw here. Near blueprint acquired. Oh, it's quartz. What's 
exact. Must also be quartz. Oh, well, there's the sand shop. Okay, mobile vehicle bay fragments I normally find in the kelp forest, so we're gonna have to search through here for a bit. Right clicked in, right click on who turns on the light. Or did it turn off the. I have no idea actually. I don't know why. It seems like right click gets rid of it. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Oh, thank you for that. Do we have an inventory? Oh, we do. Where are they? Whoa, check these out. These always have either gold or silver in them. Oh no, that, those are poisonous, so be careful with that. Bingo! Mobile vehicle bay fragment. I think we need three of these. Yeah. 30 seconds. We shall continue to search for them. So we need as many fragments as we can, along with the gravity gun. Sea glide fragment. Yeah, the stalkers always grab titanium. You can actually, I think you, I wonder if you can still befriend them with a people. Searching. Time we go this way. Oh, it's come for me. my heart whenever I hear that we're in the safe shadows. I think we were already by this one. Oh, beacon fragment. We need a beacon. Oh, we need two pieces for a beacon? Well, that sucks. But how did I not see this before? Oh, I'm sure many things will have escaped me. Oh my gosh, this battery's about to die. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go back and build a battery and a beacon. We need to build a battery charger and a base. Yeah, we need a base as quick as possible. So we can start setting up shop somewhere else. Or maybe we should just build a base near the life pod. I don't know. This thing moving. What did we need? Wait a minute, we went out there for a specific purpose. 
Oh yeah, we went down there to get more copper for the boulder tool. Okay. Yeah, we. Yeah, I got way sidetracked. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Titanium, and we need to get a beacon. I always forget to build the beacon. Oh yeah, I don't have all the components. Okay, okay, that can wait then. That can wait till I can build a beacon, so we'll be able to find the base. Forgot to say. Okay, now we go in this direction. It is a lovely day to be swimming in the ocean. Not this ocean, though. This ocean is scary. Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, we're making progress. And there's a bunch of sand sharks there. Dang it, I hate sand sharks. Oh, more reef bags. Okay, let's see if we can find this a bioreactor fragment. One hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, we'll get the rebreather for we'll salt that issue. It's a bunch of bioreactor fragments here. Yeah. Hmm, I've got to remember the spot. Oh, we've got a new signal, and hopefully with that comes new materials. Ooh. Oh, we still can't scan that. Guess we're never gonna be able to. Lead. Oh, a useful, always a useful resource, trust me. Oh, a cave system. Okay, let's get out of here. So we're going to need we still need mobile vehicle bay fragments. But where do you find those again? I don't remember. Is there any here? Or have we passed the spot already? No, that's a sea glide. 30 seconds. Hopefully the next location or the next life pod, we can get some useful, get some more useful components like say mobile vehicle back. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Where? Let's get rid of all these because before they build up. Yeah, these take forever. No. 
life pod? Where is that life pod? Where are those? Flora, fauna, indigenous life, downloaded data, flora. So they're in the grassy plateau, the grassy plains, but that could be that way over there then. Huh? Okay, let's go in that general direction and see what we find. Because either way, I need mobile people by fragments. That's what I love about this game, it, it forces you to explore. Okay, now we have to go back because I need to build a couple of these beacons. Because trust me, you need beacons. You need beacons to remember where all these things are. Okay, I think I just turned up the volume way too high now. Yep, way too high. Here we go. That's a bit better. I can hear my own voice. Do we have enough copper for two? We have enough copper for one. Do we have stuff to make water? Oh no, we need water. We're gonna have to go capture a couple of bladder fish. Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meat with salt. Or locally sourced herbs and spices. Huh? Where, oh, where are those bladder fish? Where, oh, where could they be? Come here, people. Bingo, bladder fish. New creature discovered. And there's another one. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Oh, and we're at that spot again. Okay. And more bladder fish. That's fantastic. Oh, inventory full. Let's check at the top here because normally things die and then they float up here. Oh, it's like nothing floated up here for a change. Alright, but at least we've got a new location. Call it base. I like to name my base Mid. I like calling my bases midway. Seek fluid intake. Oh wait, we can stop building. Oh, we can't stop building right away. Ooh, grav trap. Yeah, I guess we'll build a grav trap. Could be useful. Please, 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 please. Dang it, sea glide fragment. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be no, sure to really. vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Computers, they can be so smart, but so dumb. Oh, I love this music. This music is amazing to me. It sets the atmosphere. This is Avery Quinn, training ship Sunday. Aurora D. Reed, over. Another the vacuum. These all Terra ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You know, they help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes. I'll yes. try them again tomorrow. Please. 
Damn, Charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Vital signs stabilizing. Well, we're not gonna get rescued. <laughs> Couple of that. We're going to need copper in order to build a base. We just we need copper. God, we can run low on resources so easily. Huh? Well, we can start building the foundations of the base along. You already? Oh! <laughs> oh, that took him. I heard something snarling at me in the dark. No, 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 no. Oh, we got another piece of a mobile vehicle bay. That's good. I can't believe I missed that. game is terrifying. Ingredients unknown. You mean glass and titanium? Okay, no, no. we need copper ore now. Where are we going to get copper ore? Okay, we need to find that cave, because there was a cave that was just filled with resources. Like a big tubular cave. I'm gonna edit this video. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not in the mood to do editing. And besides, I kind of cheaped out on the cooler on my current CPU, so I can't edit videos if it puts too, if it puts too heavy a load on. Bingo, we found the cave. Let's see if we can get some resources in here. We need copper, bingo, bingo. Is that really all the copper that's in here? We don't need so much quartz at the moment. I think we're good on that. Oh, we need lead and silver. One, two. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Okay, so we need to hurry before the Aurora blows up. Copper! Just got another titanium. Bingo. Let's get that base going. We need to build a solar panel. So we have power. I need to build a couple of pieces of glass. 
so we can at least see outside of our base. And what is the spec needed for a fabricator? For a fabricator, we need gold. Okay. We're doing good. We have table coral. I believe we have table coral back at the base. We're making really good time. I'm surprisingly shocked. Yeah, not to toot my own horn, but uh, I kind of got the first survival part of this game kind of smoothed out. Oh, there you go. I have to have power restored. It's the next few parts of the game that I'm freaking terrified of. Excuse me. Do we still have all the components needed for? Yes, and yes. Let's see how much more quartz we can fit in here. Okay. Bingo, bango, bongo. this game. And if we get a fabricator going, we'll be able to fully sustain ourselves at this space. And I saw something pop in over there. We're going to have to go check that out. Do we have enough for another glass? Oh, we don't. Ah, oh, it's okay. We can build one. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, we need... Fabricator. Lifeboat distress signal. How much glass do we have? Yep, we need to get like more glass. Can we do it from inside? Oh, yes, we can. That's nice. That is just beautiful. Okay, let's see if we can get some resources before it starts. To go again. Oh, that was a dumb move. Yeah, that's really dumb. We're taking a lot of damage. Wow, this is pretty. Not oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. No damage. I feel amazing. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Alright, we're gonna have to get a reinforced diving suit or something. How much copper did we get out of that? Two more. Okay, that'll do. Uh, we need to build storage. So we can get rid of all of this stuff. Oh, you see what I mean? Dead. Dead. These poor things. Well, I guess we can scan it. No harm in not scanning a dead thing. I wish you could collect these and put them in the and put them in your aquariums. They would look so pretty in there. Oh yes, there was something that spawned in this direction. That we need to go and have a look at. Yeah. That's something. Oh, this is where we need the laser cutter. And oh, please have be the component for my movie. Yes! Yes! This is 
Awesome! You want just what I need. Oh, is there an alternate entrance? Yeah, some of these have alternate entrances to them. And there's a mo mobile vehicle bay fragment in here. This is a great find. Integrating new PDA data. Cheers. Oh, we are rocking, ladies and gentlemen. Are you gonna drop a tooth? No. Well, still no teeth. You suck. stuck in there. I'll eat you. Oh wait, why am I going back there? I have a base right here. Okay. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. That's a lesson, kids. Never leave your mic on. Especially when you're recording something. Wait, never leave your mic on, especially when you're recording something. That doesn't make sense. Just be careful when you have your mic on. Lubricant. Whoops. Now we need that. Yes. Making a really good time. I'm shocked. Be sure to build this where there's plenty of water. Space in the water. Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Sea moth. We need titanium ingot, parcel, two glass, and lead. Oh, that's easy. Huh? Let's go get that that copper. Looks like for this playthrough, copper is going to be the bane of my existence. Or maybe not. What's in here? If it's a mobile vehicle bay fragment, don't get... Yeah, it's a mobile vehicle bay fragment. Well, we'll use it for the titanium. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! That titanium. I want that titanium too. Should be silver. 
Always useful. Another mobile vehicle bay fragment. Okay, what else do we need? Okay, we still need titanium. Yeah, that should be enough titanium. We're going to need quartz for glass. Still no tooth. Lead. Okay, we're gonna be pretty good on the lead side of things. And we def that'll definitely be useful. quickly till the aurora explodes. some more copper because I know I'm going to need it. I don't think I have enough copper though. Okay, it looks like I may have enough, but it's just not good to go with. It's better to have more than none. Very surprised about how much lead we are getting in here. Uh oh. No, no, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Didn't see that Nisma. Five, four, three, two. We need the lead. Acquired. For your convenience, the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Normally there's a bunch of resources on this too. More copper. I guess while we're here we can create the you know we can create a few things while we're here. Okay, you can go. I wonder if that's the one we picked up earlier. It was in the box. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. We need more batteries. Actually, pretty good. We have that in stock here. Oh, we have almost. I think we almost have almost. We, ah, I don't know what's wrong with my voice all of a sudden. We almost have all the components we need to build a sea moth. Where is the sea moth now? 
We need that and that. If we're gonna go to the Aurora. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we need glass now. Do we have glass? No, but I can make it with this. What don't we need? Okay, I think we can leave those. Alright, it's been nice knowing your life, Pod. Goodbye. Oh, and I'm running out of battery again. Dang it. Oh, you're just eating through the batteries. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. We need glass. Two glass. Are you serious? I'm gonna be out of glass? Shouldn't have made all those. Shouldn't have made these two corridors. I need to go get ports. Ports is pretty easy to spot at night, so this should be quick, like in and out. Yeah, it's basically without the light. Where can I find you, Quartz? Bingo! Wait, oh, dang it, I ran out of... Bloody... Let's swap it out. Make a new battery later. Something to make that radiation suit. Is that copper? Yes, copper. There, quartz. Where are you? Bingo. Oh, not you again. I need more quartz. Oh, there's a ton of them here. That should be enough quartz. Wow, that is a lot of them here. Looks like right click actually does affect the map, but it also affects the light. Okay, that was weird. Bingo, more quartz crystals. Is that copper? Bingo. Oh, oh, we were in this cave before. This cave is full of resources. Loving it. Don't know if I can say that. More quartz crystals. I think we can also, yeah, we can make a new battery as well. Okay, do we have all the components needed? I think we have all the components needed for... A new battery. solar panel so we have more power okay dum 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 right can't we we need to build 
No, don't go out. You need to go. Radiation suit. Bingo. Radiation suit. We also need to build more storage lockers. suit. Where's the mobile vehicle bay? Bingo. Lead. Forgot the lead. First things first, get our bearings. All right, now we're gonna go to, ah, oh, we need to get fluid. Oh, dang it. All right, let's go get some people, not peepers. Oh my word, I almost killed myself. I almost killed myself. Is the seamount damage? Oh wow, that took some damage. Wow, that that was quite a bit of damage. I have to make sure that doesn't happen again. Can you do it like in below zero? Yes you can. I remember they they were saying something about backporting a few features from below zero to the original game. I'm not sure what. I think they were going to do stuff like the ability to pin specific, uh... Vital signs. Like Stay specific back. recipes to your... So it's viewable on the side of your screen. Okay, I've got a pretty empty inventory now so I'm gonna go to the Aurora because there's a few components that we need to get and I'm afraid the only place to get some of those components is near the Aurora itself but I always hate going there and you need the radiation suit or else you will die from radiation poisoning that is a thing in this game We also need to get a gel sac. How closely? Okay. I always approach from this angle because it guarantees a bit more safety. Okay, be careful here because there's a bunch of those exploding things in here. And there's a coffee machine. Sulfur. I wonder how quickly I would die if I take off my radiation suit. I'm not testing it out. Not for your satisfaction. I'm having great progress in this game. Some of the best progress I've ever had in this game. If I'm honest with you.
still need more components for the gravity for the so we can build a gravity that gravity slingshot thing. Oh we can easily fix that door. How is that hurting me? Okay, what's in here? some supplies here. That was... I already know what that is and no, no way in hell am I going there. Oh cool. Part of the Cyclops. What did I hit? Okay, I'm gonna quickly repair this guy. Don't want him dying on me. Disinfected water. Good. And there are always gel sacks here. I know that there are gel sacks here because we need those to make hero gel. Oh, it's you! I know there are gel sacks here because I always find here. Possibly be. Go away. Ow. That's strange. Okay. We need to get inside the Aurora because there are a few gravity co gun components that are inside there that we need. Gravity gun. Yeah, I don't remember its actual name now, so sorry if I'm messing it up. It's the gravity gun is a component we need to get inside. In order to get inside, we're gonna have to do two trips. Oh, more Cyclops components. <laughs> Stop! It's getting really annoying. I don't want to have to die here. Not by the Aurora. Sorry. Sorry. I always stick close to the Aurora. I think it was over here that you used to be able to go right into the Aurora's engine room. Or it was roundabout. No, it was here. Yeah, there used to be a spot here where you could go into the Aurora's engine room and repair it quickly. But they took that out. Shut up. Just 
Just keep your eye. Stay the course. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. It's normally a bunch of crates that are out here. But you can just collect tons of equipment. I'm not seeing any of them. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contained. Human tissues. Go away. Yeah. Ow. Go away. Heal up. Bingo. Hate you. Hopefully you burn. Bingo, part of a grav gun. Just as I remember. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Integrating new PDA data. Data. Sometimes the fires can go under the floor. They have to be extra cautious or else you take damage. Bingo, a battery. Data terminal. Integrate new that. PDA data. Now you see you need the grav gun for specifically down here to move this junk. Okay, we're gonna go back down. Because there's another compo because I think there may be another component to the grav gun nearby. But that's just a guess. And I'm not entirely sure. Huh? Dang, did they nerf this game? Because there was a ton of boxes here where you could get batteries, food, water. Like, there used to be a lot of them here. Another entrance down here. Shut up. Huh? You also need to grab. See, you used to be able to just take the batteries right out of there. Oh, those were the days. Okay, so it looks like. We're gonna need to continue exploring out there because you also use the grav gun to get rid of these things. I hate them. Go away. I swear to you, I have nightmares about those things. I'm not kidding, I have nightmares about them. They're really cool dreams because I'm in the subnautical world, but damn it, are they scary. Bingo, another piece of a grab gun. Okay, hopefully those two are gonna fight it out. Okay. Propulsion cannon, that's what it is. I mean, is the gravity gun, is that? That's Half-Life, isn't it? I swear that's Half-Life. Okay. Okay, now we need to get laser cutter. 
laser cutter, then we're going to stock up on a few materials and we're going to go right inside and repair the Aurora. And the laser cutter, we're going to have to get those fragments in the grassy plateau. Luckily, we've got a Seamoth, so we are mobile. Please have fragments, please have fragments. Not seeing any. Sorry. What is that? Oh, it's those fish. Shut up, you. Bingo! Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay! Let's get back to our base. And just... Build some stuff. Cannon, wiring kit, battery, wire. Okay, we need. Okay, let's first build the laser cutter. What do we need for the laser cutter? Laser cutter, we need. Oh no, the green's just gone out. I thought we needed just. Oh no, we need three. Okay, let's build the propulsion cannon. Where do we need the laser cutter? Ah, I'm sure that can wait. Okay. I'm going to stop for now. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.